Sorry about that. I'm not there talking and they put in the bump. <laughs> and today in the Living It Up is Keith's birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, happy birthday. I'm not going to say how old he is. Because <laughs> that's not supposed, that's, it's not nice. But um, oh. it is Keith's birthday and it is also the very first day of NICU Awareness Month. And you know that um, Adrian spent time in the NICU. So I just wanted to shout out that date as well. But it's Hubby's birthday. We celebrated over the weekend at brunch. Um, it was a socially distanced brunch and we were in our own little room. We had our own space. So it was a lot of fun. It was nice to get out of the house, but still be safe. So happy birthday, babe. I love you so much. Oh. And I can't wait till you get home. Yes. How about yeah. you? Congratulations, Keith. Yes, well, happy birthday to him. Yes, uh, happy birthday to Keith. I know I'll probably see you soon in the barbershop because you didn't come get your barbershop haircut. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, now, um, this this weekend, my wife and I, we took our daughter uh, to go see, um, it was a play, Junie B. Jones uh, goes to first grade, and it was done outside at... Um, I can't remember the place. It was the Virginia Museum or something. Um, and I forgot to mark it down. But yes, we, we were outside. It was socially distanced. Uh, everybody was spread apart. It was a little warm, but the temperature was good. And it was just a good play. And my daughter had read the book. And so my wife happened to see that they were putting this play on. Um, <laughs> and we took her to go see it. So, yeah, it was pretty cool to see it out there. Uh, yeah, it looks really nice, Queen City. You yeah. have a really good time with your daughter and yeah. family, right? Yeah. I yes. miss those days to go out and just have fun with our <laughs> friends and family. Yeah. I'm so over of this. Okay, that's my pitch. Okay, you can ask yourself, what is that? I'm <laughs> trying to work in the little backyard that I have in the new place that I bought. And that's my little baby, Arkev. But it was really hard to remove all the <laughs> wood from the concrete. So I'm trying to take all that up so I can put some sand and then uh, grass and make it more green space than yeah. cement <laughs> so i'm working on it but I, I have a mess i don't know how to i mean I, I, need that help. I need that help for the audience <laughs> yeah you've got a lot that you're trying to do in that backyard like you've already <laughs> transformed the inside of your house and now that backyard like that's that's a lot going on there patricia and you're doing it by yourself well it's nothing else that i can do you know that i'm going through a really hard times and some days i feel like i'm a strong some days i feel like uh, i just want to sleep all day and that's who I am, you know, it, it is what it is. We are all humans. And when I feel like I'm strong, I just go in the backyard or any part of the house and I start painting or doing things. But now it's too much, the backyard, yeah. so I can help. So have, you, have you used that as like stress relief? Like yes. something makes you mad and you go outside with a hammer and you're like. For you sure. Yes. It's a good stress relief. It yeah. is. Yeah, well, just don't tear up the neighbor's yard, relieving your stress, okay? <laughs> Knocking the hammers <laughs> to the ground. Yeah, but for everybody in the audience, if you have suggestions for Patricia's yard, definitely DM them to us and maybe we'll I wanna make, make them out of yes, it. Yes, I want to make it green, so please send me some ideas. Yes, yes, uh, definitely want to get you some ideas. And also, don't forget, um, while we're asking people to chime in while we're on Facebook Live uh, for each of our segments, your view is now on the Cox Contour app. So you can yeah. catch our show and all other shows on the Your View Network in real time while you're on the go. 